I know what you're wondering. You're wondering, how the fuck did you manage to lose 30 pounds with this thing here? And to that I'd say, well, it's what this vlog's about. But the reality is, this alone didn't cause me to lose all of that weight. Eating in a calorie deficit, tracking my step count, and resistance training helped me out a ton. But I've done dieting phases before, and this dieting phase has by far been the easiest. And the only difference between them all is this. So what the fuck is it? Well, it's a weighted vest. Think of it this way. 100 kilograms, 10,000 steps. 80 kilograms, 10,000 steps. Which one burns more calories? You guessed it, the heavier one. That's at a basic, very primitive level. But we also have research to back the use of weighted vests. Most notably, a case study by James Krieger and Eric Trexler. Now, I'm gonna go through some key takeaways within that case study, basically to save you time. Bullet point one, reduces metabolic adaptation, decreases hunger, maintain muscle in legs, it would help if I had that in the first place, and decrease the negative symptoms within dieting. And all of this I concur with. This is exactly what's happening to me right now. Bullet point two, weighted vest may work by maintaining NEAT and total energy expenditure, reduces appetite, and allows fat loss in a high energy flux state. Also stimulates something called graviostat. Now, graviostat at a very, very basic level is basically a mechanism within your brain that tells your body it's not hungry with the use of external weights. Now in this case, a vest. Now this specific study on graviostat was done on rodents, but it's still promising stuff. And all the anecdote that I'm pulling from it kind of correlates, which is good confirmation bias at the very least. Bullet point three, it kind of only works when you are standing or walking for most of the day. Like pretty much if you're sitting down all day and you've got this weighted vest on, I, I don't think it's gonna do too much. Like it might, but in my opinion, probably not. Now for every single thing in life, there's pros and there's cons. So we've kind of wrapped through the pros and kind of, yeah, now it's on to the cons. A big con, a very big con, is uh, it's a fucking pain in the ass, man. Like lugging around this is just, it's just no joke. It's harsh, it's invasive. You wanna go grab a coffee? <sighs> Let's have a mental breakdown before we put it on. You wanna go shopping? You have to ask your wife to carry a bag cause your traps hurt so fucking much. Like, <laughs> is shit. There's, there's really no two ways about saying it. But fuck, it works. Do I recommend it to everyone? No, absolutely fucking not. Do I recommend it to people in prep? Yes. Why? You're all fucking nutters in the first place. Let's be honest. There's just, there's just something about people in prep. There's just so fucking hardcore about everything. So yeah, this is exclusively for the psychos. I'm also a part of the band. And look, it's got me lean as shit and I feel great. Like, I know a lot of people in prep say they feel great when they feel like shit, but genuinely, I feel, I feel epic. I just don't think most people can handle it. And that's the, uh, that's the honest truth. And by the way, this isn't just something you can just wear on walks. Oh no. To benefit from Graviostat, you kind of got to wear it all fucking day. And you kind of got to be standing for most of the day. So that's 10 kilograms plus, because this was the lighter one. All fucking day, apart from when you sleep. Pain in the ass. But yeah, luckily, as of today... I don't have to wear this anymore. My fat loss is pretty much done, which is good. But yeah, probably another like five pounds and I think I'm uh, I'm ready to rock. But yeah, thank fuck, because my traps hurt. Anyway, seven weeks out, technically six by the time this goes out. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next vlog. I hope this helped.